September 2018. Today is 19 September 2018. It's a, it's a Wednesday. What happened is this great five-year-old, red year slider male, came in with a complaint of not eating and uh, having difficulty in breathing, always gasping for breath for about one to two weeks ago. Okay, let go first. Take off first. Now, as you can see, he does have this open mouth breathing and, uh, and he has stopped eating. Now, it's a, the red year cider has been sick for six, six months. Now, the main complaint was he couldn't retract his neck, which he could do it normally. So the neck doesn't go in, go inside the, the shell, you push in. Normally, you can go in, yeah. according to the owner. Yeah, can you go further in? Yeah, it's not been able to go in at all. And uh, there was another red ear slider, the sibling tends to mount on him. So I suspect he might have a nerve injury to the neck and therefore he couldn't uh, retract his neck. Now we turn it upside down and let's see below, the neck below, just the same way again, put back the same way. Uh, same way again, see, see any injuries? Of course it will be quite long, long ago you wouldn't be able to see any injury. Let's see whether he can retract his neck. Well, press and see. See whether the, the neck can go in. Push it in. No, okay. Turn, turn, turn back the same way. It looks like he has a paralyzed neck actually. And uh, it's probably due to daily mounting by the other one. And uh, he might have injured the neck area. Probably injured here, this part. And uh, so, he, so once there's an injury, a traumatic injury, so he cannot put his the nerves are paralyzed, so he cannot put his neck in. So it's always important to ask the history eh, of the case because although this is a, a gasping case, it, it looks like a res upper respiratory tract infection case due to the mouth gasping of the mouth, open mouth breathing, and then uh, the swollen eye doesn't only happened in the last two weeks, according to the owner. So actually, he has been sick for six six months, and you can see that uh, yeah, he had been eating well. Actually, he's not that skinny. He's not that skinny. Turn the back back. No, just turn turn the paper will do. Yeah. Turn the paper. You can see his backside. We'll go for the back. See whether he got some flesh or not. I'll press to see. In the in between the no, don't block my camera. In between, the lift up a bit, lift up one hand. You, you can see whether it's thin or not by by checking the inside here. There, turn turn. Now you can check here. Here, if it's very thin, then there won't be much uh, flesh here, much fat here. So overall, he's not very thin. So he's been eating. He's eating about 15 pellets a day, but has stopped eating for some time due to the neck paralysis. Put back properly again. Yeah. Put back like just now properly. Yeah. Okay. So is there a cure or not? That's the question. It's very hard to say, but uh, I doubt there's a cure. And. Uh, The treatment will be supportive treatment, syringe feeding, antibiotics, and uh, if possible, we can massage the neck, but it's too long. It's been too long. Now, normally, they will bite you if you touch them. Now, there seems to be some swelling here. Probably, they might have injured the blood vessel when 
when uh, the other sibling mounted on him every day something sharp from the from the shell of the other sibling could have damaged the vertebra so with, with, with neck paralysis he, he developed upper respiratory tract infection and uh, now he's really in a bad shape now we see whether he can move or not pull his, pull his leg out and see both legs pull some more extend the leg extend some more you see it doesn't really attempt to bite anybody okay let's see the turn upside down again see the shells now you can see it's not not very thin not very thin although it lost eight grams now it's day three he cannot turn upright by himself okay but go back again facing me again so this is the situation now day three of treatment so we give orally antibiotics anti painkillers and uh, vitamins and critical care feeding to see whether you can reverse the paralysis or not which is here actually the neck is paralyzed you can even feel the bones uh, the vertebra bones here so this is one of the few cases of paralysis of the red ear slider probably due to mounting now you look at the other one there's another one coming in it's a hatchling you can take it out here paper okay you can see the hatchling put it down and uh, the complaint is take away first yeah. the complaint is that it's not eating but you can see He's still active, huh? Come, he's still active. Put it in the center there. So the one thing good, he's still active. This is albino one. Okay, and turn to the side. You can see the side view, uh, the back. View. So this is a very expensive uh, caramel or albino. Put, put down in red ear slider. This is not red ear. This is yeah, it's a red ear, but it's a it's a color is different okay put it back in the so this one we need to sun it sun it and uh, and we will feed antibiotics so this one is compared to the other one it's a very young one it will probably be less than two months old it's a red year slider it will bring down the water level a bit yeah we have to take off first pour, pour the water not too much water Bring it, bring it down by half just pour the water yeah. so you can see two red ear sliders with different problems yeah, put it here yeah. so the best is not to be over just just with the head very little water so that the head is uh, above so it's not fully submerged yeah. not fully submerged let's see yeah, yeah you, can, you can breathe uh, but sometimes they can't climb up, uh, so you don't expect them to climb up here. When, when they are well, they can climb up, but they, they are not well. A bit, a bit more. Less water. To my intern helping me. And... Uh, just a bit... Uh, just enough for the... For the... Slider to breathe. So that it doesn't submerge entirely. Then we put the palace in and cover up as well. Where's the cover? Yeah, okay, give some sunlight for one hour.